Well, I'm back to let the mole crickets loose. But we had some rain. It's been so dry, but we had quite a bit of rain. And that log over there, that was where they were staying. But it was dry, just moist underneath it. But I'm letting them loose here. I don't want to keep them any longer. I can see these guys. They burrow right down, so I'm sure they'd be all right. Let me see if I can get one of these out. He's kind of a small one. Oops. I'll let this guy go first. Down you go, dude. Well, he burrowed right down. Number two. Oh, there we are. Him go. Oops, kicked my tripod. This guy is kind of dirty looking. Got some dirt on him. There he is. Oh, he dropped. And he's going to go down. All right. See you later. Mole crickets. Well, there's a six spotted fishing spider on this log. There he is. Good size one, too. I don't know if I can zoom in. Nope. Let me try something here. There. Clicked on my macro zoom. It's kind of windy out. And there she is. A lot of beauty. And the pond has filled up a little bit again. First small cricket. Oh, I'm trying to get away. Always oh, little front feet. Oh, there he goes. He's gonna bury down quick. Well, when he hit the ground, he buried right down, right down in there, so. Still cool that I saw one. First one this year. Mole crickets. Get rid of these invasive pests. Invasive mole crickets are a serious plant pest for many Floridians. These insects can do major damage to any species of tough grass, as well as to pastures, forage crops, and vegetables. So, how can you get rid of them? While it is unlikely that you will completely get rid of them, UF slash IFAS research since the 1980s suggests that biological control with the Lara bicolor wasp and an insect parasitic nematode, microscopic worm, may be more effective than conventional pesticides. What are mole crickets? Mole crickets are a unique and unusual family of crickets that spend most of their life underground and have modified hands front legs, that help them tunnel through the soil, hence, the name mole cricket. These insects are common tough grass pests throughout Florida and the southeastern U.S. Several species occur around the world and cause damage to multiple crop species. In Florida, 
three species of mole crickets are considered pests, the tawny, Neoscapteriscus vicinus, southern, Neoscapteriscus borelii, and short-winged, Neoscapteriscus abbreviatus, mole crickets. There is also one native species, the northern, Neocurtila hexadactyla, mole cricket that is found throughout the eastern U.S., although this species is not considered a pest. What do they do? Mole crickets tunnel through the soil, often close to the soil surface, severing grass roots and causing the earth to bulge upwards. They also eat the roots and shoots of plants where they are tunneling, most commonly grasses. Mole cricket tunneling and feeding damage looks like ugly brown patches of dying or dead grass, which are typically replaced by weeds. Predators such as raccoons, armadillos and birds may further dig up the turf to snack on the crickets, which creates even more of a mess. Sod farms, home lawns, golf courses and pastures all frequently host mole crickets. Any species of tough grass can be damaged by mole crickets, but they particularly like Bahia grass and Bermuda grass. When are they active? Mole crickets are active year-round in Florida, but do the most damage during spring, March through June, or fall, late August to early October, when they are mostly adults. Mole crickets have one generation per year, with eggs typically being laid in April and May. Not only can mole crickets tunnel through the soil, but the adults can also fly long distances. In fact, an adult male mole cricket will sit at the entrance to his tunnel and call for adult females, who fly in to find him. Mole crickets are nocturnal, which means they are actively calling, tunneling, and flying at night.